Good morning, South Florida, and welcome to Auto Shopper, the show that brings you the best deals on used cars all over town, right in your living room. I'm your host, Lisette Garcia, and thank you for joining me this morning. Now, I found some great deals here in the heart of Miami, where I'm taking you this morning to Latin Motors, and today we are down south on US 1 here at Miami Acura. Alejandro, you definitely have some great deals here. Thank you yes, so much thank for you, being on the show. Come see Alejandro here at Prado Auto Sales. Now here at JM Lexus pre-owned superstore, they're waiting for you so you can pick up your favorite car today and drive off in your new car. Possible Madonna halftime show is Lisette Garcia. Yes, Christy, the rumors have been flying across the airwaves and on the web that Madonna will be getting fans into the groove at the halftime show at Super Bowl 46 at Indiana. In her 30 years of performing, this is the first time the Like a Virgin star will shine a ray of light on the Super Bowl stage. The material. I'm sorry, I'm still waking up and I can't get this timing right today. I have no idea what time it is, but it is still in the 5 o'clock hour, 32 minutes. Your drive times are looking great at this time. There are no delays if you're heading up to Las Cruces. It's only about 30 minutes and 20 minutes if you're heading out to White Sands. There's a lot of history here on this stretch of Mission Trail, which has some people wondering why this isn't a National Historical Park prompting Commissioner Vince Perez to look forward to doing just that. Reporting from San Elisario, Lisette Garcia, KFOX 14 News at 5. You can look outside, I mean, just imagine, can you really imagine driving through this? This is why, exactly why they shut down I-10 so that nobody has to go through this. There was some spectators on the side of the road there. Authorities were out there getting them out of the way. Now inspectors are going to go out here in about 15 minutes to make sure the I-10 is safe to reopen to all drivers. I was given the opportunity to take a look at how far along this construction project is going. Let me just say it looks like a great place to spend many Sun Metro is changing the way you wait for your ride. Their latest project that will make your waiting time more pleasant. Next, on still ongoing and crews will be on there and as well your shoulder lanes are closed there and your shoulder lanes are also closed on Vista del Sol and your Loop 375. So give yourself a few extra minutes if you're heading out in that direction. Another construction project on your Loop 375 is just maintenance on Loop 375 in the eastbound right lanes and that's where it meets the spur. Nothing really. AAA Texas says the average price for a gallon of gas is $3.00. And 46 cents. At this gas station on the west side, it's three dollars and 49 cents. But drivers everywhere can definitely expect to pay more at the pump this Memorial weekend. Well, it's one of a kind because the new ID uses your hand to identify you and your previous medical records. The new patient registration system here at UMC uses infrared lighting to read the vein patterns on your hand. Patient Sites also shared his story from when he was able to give one of the greatest gifts of all. He donated a kidney to a teacher back in Dallas. He says he was simply doing what he knows best, God's work. Reporting from the Lower Valley, Lisette Garcia, KFOX 14 News at 5. Tuesday about 20 minutes until 7 o'clock. Now there are really no accidents, just an earlier one that is starting to clear up now and that's westbound on I-10 and the Mesa on-ramp westbound. So just be aware that if you're going to head on and get to on I-10. Besides that, everything else is looking great. As you can see, traffic is smooth sailing. I do want to let you know that the project that spurred 1966 projects, northbound and southbound lanes on Schuster Avenue will be periodically closing as construction crews are getting work done out there from 7 a.m. to about 5 I-10, especially in both directions as you can see Paisano Drive is a great option it's not looking too bad at this time and neither is the border highway we're taking a look and you can see all that red there that's everyone's just basically stopped on I-10 if we go ahead and take a look 